AI is becoming more and more prevalent within our lives with the recent boom of chat GPT, people going losing their minds about that and people taking advantage of that technology when it comes to creating content online even. We have entire unions going on strike against AI usage when it comes to their field of work because it might get involved with their creative process and take them out of a job. Though we've also seen people make amazing things when it comes to like NPC dialogue within a video game, for example, this mod in Skyrim. Can you carry my burdens better than Lydia? Oh, you poor thing. Are you still traumatized from the last time Lydia dropped all your pots and pans? Don't worry, moist boy, I've got your back and your burdens. And now we've been starting to see this usage of AI generated content along with articles being written online. There's a website that uses AI generated articles to just constantly pump out content for people to click on and read. One way they do this is by scraping data threads from Reddit to be able to make into a generated articles that are X amount of letters long, filled with just maximized keywords throughout the whole thing. So it's just a completely generated content online, which definitely scares a lot of news article writers out there who are like, wow, I'm basically being teched out of a job. And well, there was a subreddit that recognized this and took advantage of the situation. The World of Warcraft subreddit saw this and decided to create a thread to get enough activity that the AI bot would recognize it and write an article of the key takeaways and well it worked and so the world of warcraft community made this thread saying i'm so excited they finally introduced glorbo which you might assume glorbo is not an actual character within world of warcraft the funny thing is it's not even that long of an article it just kind of says like they're super happy about it and saying how they're like this is really cool that you be able to add this into the game uh but nothing really too crazy or specific just made up a few random names within the world and just over 3,000 upvotes and so not like a crazy upvoted thread but it got picked up by the AI and it got made into an article. And boom, you have the article that was made saying World of Warcraft players excited for Glorbo's introduction. This website was taken down, but of course it's archived online so you can find it. But basically they took it down once they realized like, oh, we just got trolled big time. The funny thing is you can tell it's an AI generated because it says World of Warcraft in parentheses, wow. And each time they say World of Warcraft in parentheses, wow each time it's written within this article which is just hilarious that like yeah it's clearly ai written but it's not just like the main thread itself it also reads the comments as you can see the top comment is this is by far the best change since they made Claxi a neutral playable race as part of the epic quest of Depose Quackian, the aspect of ducks. And you can see right here in the article, furthermore players express their anticipation for previous changes made to the game, such as the inclusion of Klaxi as a playable race. Reddit user Malsumus hails it as the best change since the quest to the dispose quacky in the aspect of ducks though i do feel this kind of leans into a larger discussion about ai driven content online and just goes to show that you still need that human touch to make sure that what humans are reading are made by humans though it's kind of freaky how accurate this thing actually is properly citing reddit users names mentioning that they were a reddit commenter the specific wordage that they had within those comments as well that's kind of freaky and we're still in the early stages of AI driven content. I can only assume like five, 10 years down the road, you might not be able to tell the difference between an AI written article and a human written article, which there are countless game journalists out there, many of them credible, many of them are great sources of news and information to get out to the people. But this website literally just creates people's names and cites them as the author, even though they never made anything and it's all completely AI driven. I don't know if AI will ever fully be something that we could utilize as just like a source of information. I do believe that there always will need to be a human element attached to it. I mean, we could use AI as a tool to be able to basically write out an article that you would need to write out, but then also have a human touch to kind of comb through it to make sure things are listed properly, cited properly, worded properly. So I don't feel like AI will ever fully take human jobs away, something like this, because 
that you need to find a way to give a reason why you need to be the person making the content, right? Technology moves crazy fast and so do humans as well. And types of jobs come and go. Think about the industrial revolution and how many tedious jobs are done by humans now or all done by automation. And maybe five, 10 years down the future, maybe writing articles about gaming might just be something like that. So I can say reading through that article that you can definitely tell it was written by a bot as it's just very generic writing, not really anything that's interesting to read, doesn't provide any unique takes or any aspects that they can provide to add to the story. But it's still freaky that an AI can just scrape Reddit threads and just make a full on article that can be written and read by people that you go, you know what? That was written by somebody. Those scraping Reddit's threads with data might be a great way to write an article about content that might slip through the cracks that people are not really paying attention to. Especially for much smaller startup companies like the company that we're talking about here. I know they're a small group company. They actually reached out to me if they wanted to collaborate. I was like, nah, I'll pass. But yeah, if you're like a startup news article writer and you want to use AI to kind of scrape data to try to get some interesting topics to talk about and then go back through articles and edit them up to make them sound interesting and provide your own aspects and something you can provide to the article to give it actual value, then that's actually a very useful tool that we could, could see the change of gaming journalism completely change within just the next few years. It can completely change how video games are made as a whole. As I showed earlier in this video, you had a chat generated AI content when it comes to in-game game conversations in Skyrim. The user was just talking with their voice, with voice recognition software, talking to their NPC counterpart, and they replied back with fully written out dialogue that they just replied to. Obviously, it sounds super robotic and kind of odd. Sometimes the tone just doesn't line up properly. Herica, I've taken you here to the battlements of Whiterun so we can look out over the world, and I can ask you where you'd like to go first. Moist boy, the possibilities are endless. You see, Harika, I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Oh, so I guess you'll be hobbling around Whiterun, regaling everyone with tales of your past glory? How <laughs> exciting. But it's actually not too bad, especially for if you consider for a game like Skyrim, that this could actually mean a lot when it comes to voice actors within video games as well. For large scale games like Skyrim or say Starfield coming out, if your NPC characters like the side characters that you don't really need to have a huge amount of dialogue for, that could maybe be AI driven. I feel like the hardest part about that though would be trying to tie actions within a video game from what your NPC says. For example, you tell your follower in Skyrim to go attack that dragon and they go, okay, I'll attack that dragon. And then they go do it. That's a crazy bit of continuity right there. Though we could definitely see in the near term future, AI being utilized as a way to just kind of continue on conversations with characters that you want to keep talking to, but they just ran out of dialogue within the game. I've had that happen so many times with the RPG games where I was like, say for Mass Effect, for example, I'll be talking to a character and I want to get to know them more and I just run out of dialogue options. I should go. It's kind of crazy to think what the future is going to be like with AI because it's going to be more prevalent. It just depends what we decide to do with it as a society. For the near term future, I don't see AI replacing voice actors or replacing game journalists at all. I do see it though being utilized as another tool within the toolbox to be able to help generate content faster especially when it comes to gaming news if you're not on it like the day that news happens you get flooded within the algorithm of everyone else covering it first well, let's all hope the machines don't rise